In this visual tutorial, I'm going to talk about normalized tables, p-values, z-scores, and critical values. In the back of all statistics books, you'll find tables like this with z-scores. In this case, the far left-hand column is the z-score, and you'll see the columns repeat themselves. You have two columns of z-scores. This is really only half a table because the z-scores are both positive and negative and I plan to discuss that in some detail for you. And now I'm going to draw in a bell curve. In a classic bell curve, the mean is in the middle and 50% of the observations above the mean and 50% below the mean. So all observations are 100%. I could also write this as 0.5 and 1, just a different way to represent 100% and 50%. The tables are typically broken down with a body, which is the green area, and a tail, and you see upper bodies and lower tails. Everything is symmetrical, so these two areas are equal to each other. Also, the tails are equal to each other. The area under one side of the bell curve, like the left side, is equal to 0.5, and it's also equal to the right side, of course. And the area on the right side is equal to 0.5 as well. So let me move this back and slide this over to the left a little bit. Like this, like that. And I'll bring in a table and we'll look at some examples. So first I'm going to look at Z is equal to 1.96. And that's a 95% confidence level. Just accept 1.96 is 95% confidence level right now, but in a moment I'm going to tell you how that works. In this case, the area between the mean and the z-score is the green area. It's labeled as B. This is equal to 0 0.4750. That's the area, or 47.5%. The area beyond z is equal to 0 0.0250. Let me move that over, 0 0.0250. These two areas, when I add them together, is equal to 0 0.5000000, but, or just 0 0.50. In this case, the B and Z columns always add up to 0 0.5000, no matter where I'm at in this table. Always 0.5000. As you can see, always add up to that. Now, how does 95% equate to 1.96? You're probably curious to know that. I'm going to tell you how that works. So 95% is equal to 0 0.9500. And since everything's symmetrical, I divide that by 2. And that equals to 0 0.4750. And if I look in the body of the table, column B, it's right there, which is 1.96. That's where 1.96 comes from. So if I wanted to be 98% confident, I'd take 0 0.9800 divided by 2 and look up that value in the body of the table. And that would be about right there. And so the z-score would be 2.33. And my critical value for 98% confidence would be 2.33. I put links below to a video that explains critical values, p-values, alpha, so on and so forth. And I encourage you to watch that. Now, this is a half a table because they don't want to repeat the table for positive and negative values. So they only do it once. So if you have negative z-scores, you just look into the left-hand side of the mean, just like that, or negative 1.96. And the areas B and C are the same. So in this case, I use the same row to look up 0 0.4750 and 0 0.0250, like that. And it still equals to 0 0.50. So negative z-scores work the same way. You use the same rows. So share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Subscribe, like the videos. Links to other videos below. Keep that in mind. Watch those videos. Good luck in your classes.